And all right, we are back. And it is a rehydration day. So we are just some good old H2O in the water bottle. Mmm. Mmm. You can just feel it soaking into my deprived, <laughs> my, uh, my water deprived body. Just soaking back in. All right, so we're gonna be using some McDuff's Raspberry Methaglin, and I'm not 100% sure I'm saying Methaglin right, but it is what it is. Uh, awesome label. I like the up close shot of the honeybee there. The uh, side label is equally as classy. Very nice. You got everything that you need to know here ingredients batch number made in Canada see the little flag right there um, really good stuff it's in the uh, low profile wide mouth tub industry standard stuff you kinda get a look at the uh, soap base there it's kinda got a chunky um, like oatmeal cookie type look to it you know um, really good stuff um, I'm a sucker for berry scents and so anything with raspberries blackberries whatever you know blueberry I'm usually gonna like it and this one um, <clears throat> having the raspberry note it, it just makes no exception I totally 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 enjoy this one see I got it lathered up right there got a lot of lather in my badass Lancaster Razor Works bowl staple of my everyday shaves and then we got our Viking um, soaps and brushes handle right here let me show you that glorious coin <laughs> I know so sharp David doesn't like the coin but um, it does look Viking-ish <clears throat> and then we got that beautiful lather um, incorporated into our strike gold shave executive hand tied knot and just a beautiful looking lather on top I cannot wait to get into this this is um, McDuff's V4 soap base which is their latest and most up-to-date soap base um, at the time of this video anyways and so the V4 I'm not 100% sure what exactly they sought to pr in improve um, but I have used the V3 and I really really uh, am digging McDuff's soap company I love the artwork um, owner seems like a nice guy the um, the scents always seem interesting and um, yeah I'm just I'm really enjoying McDuff's as a brand as of late all right, let's get going. So, the uh, the scent on this one is actually inspired by the alcoholic beverage mead, which is a like a honey wine type deal. I've had a few meads before; good stuff. Um. And I, I guess methaglin is a type of mead that actually is made using, um, or made with herbs and spices included in the honey wine. And so that's pretty cool. Kind of uh, explains some of the scent notes and the uh, direction he was trying to take this one. Uh, I guess the guy makes his own mead, and so that was kind of the inspiration for this. Um, a little bit more niche type scent offering but it uh, it has notes of raspberry raw honeycomb ginger vanilla rosehip hibiscus and beeswax and so a very nice sounding scent to me like <laughs> not, nothing in there sounded like it wouldn't work the um, the raspberry in this one you do get a sort of sweet tart raspberry vibe uh, very 
uh, very natural. It doesn't feel very like cloying or like candy or anything like that. And um, it's definitely not the raspberry. While it's it's there and easily detectable, I don't think this is like all about the raspberry because you do get some warm uh, sweetness from the honey, and I feel like I, I pick up the the hibiscus and ginger as well, just kind of like dancing on top of that good stuff very good stuff we got a good looking lather it smells great and let's get into the shave we got our double duck gold edge right here you can see right there gold edge double duck right there and I believe this one has the Captain lather me whiskers um, J nat edge on it so gonna be a good one definitely a uh, very enjoyable edge it was one of my uh, one of my favorite edges to date I think <clears throat> One thing I love about having a straight razor shave is the ability to just knock out like perfect lines. <clears throat> very, very nice. The uh the soap seems to be quite slick. Um, similar to V3, didn't have any problems whatsoever with V3. I had a very uh, positive impression of the V3, but V4 came shortly after, and I'm sure whatever they did, you know, was an improvement. Like I said, I'm unsure what they were aiming to improve. Maybe they were just trying to improve everything across the board. Who knows? But. <clears throat> Tell you what, I'm not having any issues. Slickness is there. It's got some nice uh, density. Send strength is, you know, maybe 5.5 to 6. And um, we're definitely, definitely cutting. Definitely getting some, some work accomplished here. <clears throat> Just got back from a. Uh, Portland, Oregon. Of course, whenever I go to Portland, I have to make a concerted effort to spend some time with my buddy uh, Jack from the Virtual Groom Room, fellow uh, community member. Most of you know Jack, good guy. <clears throat> we went to um, two breweries together. One of them was having a uh, a fourth anniversary party and that was pretty cool. One of my uh, favorite breweries. Wayfinder Brewing. Good stuff. And they had <laughs> they had someone working the barbecue there that knew their shit man. There was some good barbecue there. Um, also we went to a uh, like a German themed tap house called Prost, and it was basically um, they had like all German imports, and so their whole tap list was like German beers and various German styles. I fucking love that place. <clears throat> that wasn't my first time being there. Uh, that was some good shit. All right. Get some more of this beautiful lather. You can see that soft, uh, soft curl there. The lather is nicely hydrated, and um, I'm definitely. I think the uh, the streak of good impressions with McDuff Soap Company continues. Wonderful scent. It's um. 
20 bucks for 120 grams, which I'm assuming that's probably like four ounces is what I'm guessing. Not 100% sure on that, but 20 bucks, 120 grams, whatever the hell that equals out to. It looks like an industry standard tub of soap, so I'm assuming it's either like four or five grams. Or ounces, Jesus. <laughs> I'm all over the place, I'm confusing myself now. Um, four or five ounces, I'm guessing. 20 bucks. Good stuff. I picked this one up at the Razor Company. If you uh, saw my mail call video, I definitely got quite a few things from the Razor Company. Some stuff that I've uh, been wanting for a long time, and then some stuff that I just had interest in, kind of like this um, Abate Ia Alamantia and Le Pierre Lucien, that sort of thing. Uh, those are ones that I've been wanting for a long time. This uh, McDuff's V4 I've been had interest in. I wanted to give it a shot. So, picked up a bunch of cool stuff. The video kind of went on a little bit long, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Very nice. We got our uh, Lather and Blade group t-shirt on. Lather and Blade is a... Uh, wet shaving Facebook group. A lot of uh, characters in that in that group. But I'll do live shaves in there and I'll hop in chat rooms with the community members and talk with them. Post my shave of the day pictures or mail calls, you know, anything I'm excited about. I definitely uh, recommend checking it out. Uh, definitely a rowdy bunch of uh, fellas, but good, good people, regardless. I shouldn't say just fellas. I mean, we have we have the ladies in there too, but definitely a <laughs> rambunctious set of characters. <clears throat> The uh, soap is performing absolutely beautifully. The edge is feeling very comfortable. Just, I'm just kind of in the zone. I was literally like on the brink of passing out. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I suppose I did um, pass out in a chat <laughs> with a few of the fellas in Lather and Blade. Um, I was just so fucking comfortable, and. Um, I started dozing off. <laughs> Had my head on the on the pillow as we were talking and slowly but surely I started fading. But I wasn't out for long before I realized they kicked me out. And that's when I decided time for a shave. Really good stuff. Really enjoying the scent on this one. Like I said, a lot of times, if it has berry, a berry note, it's going to be a winner for me. Very nice. That just smooth, smooth, smooth going across the grain. Or, I mean, against the grain. Alright. 
So that's how it's done. You don't just leave random bits of lather. <laughs> that shit bugs my OCD. You fucking shave the lather off. <clears throat> it always gets me when I, uh, I see dudes shaving and I'm watching, I'm watching their YouTube videos and they'll like, they'll like leave like shit like this and they're just like, alright, time for the next pass and it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're just leaving random fucking dots unshaved. <laughs> you missed that. You fucking missed it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my OCD. But I like, I'll see like random spots left behind and I'm like, why are you moving on to the next pass? You didn't even complete the pass that you're on. <clears throat> I don't know. Just gotta laugh. Just gotta laugh. All right. Man, now I'm kind of uh, kicking myself in the ass for not picking up the matching aftershave splash because this is definitely a winner for me. This uh, raspberry and honeycomb and kind of like that ginger and hibiscus, that seems to be what I can easily pick out. And it's a good one. <clears throat> Soap was nice and slick. It had a luxurious density to it. Mm. Got this Lancaster towel. Wipe it all down. And then I don't have the matching aftershave, so we're gonna, gonna use something else today. But it's equally as good. Good stuff. Got um, Holy Cause Vor B, which shares a raspberry note with with this soap. So they're definitely different, but they share that raspberry note, so it's good enough for me. Not going anywhere anyway. So Vor B or Vor Five from Holy Cause. This is the aftershave splash not the aftershave toner. All right, let's get some up on here. Oh yeah, that raspberry note pops out in a very similar fashion as the uh, raspberry mythglin scent. And that's gonna complement this very nicely. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And, yeah, don't really have anything to cheers you with, but Raspberry Myth one, that was a good one. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.